you have a USA visa interview and you're not going to prepare for it, they respect you. They know who you are. They know you have arrived. Who is this person? Welcome back to my channel, Jeanette here. I am back again with another freaking video. In my previous study abroad video, I always share some things you should be doing if you have a US visa interview. In this video, I decided to share with y'all some things you should not be doing. This is if you have an F1 visa interview, B1, H1, all the ones, a tourist visa interview, whatever it is, this video applies to you. You are not left out. If you want your visa accepted, make sure you watch this video till the end. The first mistake I want to talk about is you not being well prepared before the interview. Why? You want to come to USA. You have a USA visa interview and you're not going to prepare for it. This is a time you have to do a lot of research. Go online. We are lucky. We have Google. Google tells us everything we have to know. Look for common interview questions. I have a video on my channel explaining some of these common interview questions with show up. I provide some answers. With interviews, once you prepare, you are very confident. And yeah, I feel now I'm not confident from um like you have all the answers, you've Googled, you've asked people about the interview process, you've spoken to people who know about the interview process. You will get this because once you get there you're speaking with an interview officer and he or she knows you know it all why we go to the interview and give false information why will you go to the interview and give incomplete information never do that if you have an interview whatever question you are asked make sure you answer it to the fullest if you give false information incomplete information they will find out i think people forget that they do a background research and all do good in Toronto they are going to find out and this might cause delay unnecessary frustration you don't want all that frustration and can even cause legal actions against you. So do not go there and lie. These are some of the mistakes people make. If you don't have a sibling here in America, you don't have. If you don't have a father here, you don't have. Or if you don't want to talk about it, just keep it short. Don't talk about it. This can cause your visa to be bounced. As you're preparing, make sure you are putting all your documents together. Get a very nice file, a folder. Name it US Visa Interview. Put it somewhere. Anytime you remember a document, make sure you just put it in that folder. So that when it is time for the interview, and you have another rush, you're not about to rush to look for a certain document. If you get to this interview and they're asking for A and you don't have A and you have B, your documentation is incomplete and they would not accept it. And they might not even give you another interview date. Look up the prerequisites or the requirements for the visa interview. Again, I have a video that will share about 10 or 11 things you need. Documents don't think this is not important this is important because you never know it's better to have everything and you ask for just one than to go with just one and you ask for everything you know what i mean these are some mistakes people do if i have an interview whatever it is i make sure i'm prepared i make sure i have all my documentation if i have three weeks to prepare i'll make sure every day as i remember something i put it in the folder taking incomplete documentation will have your visa bounced it, it can be one of the reasons why hey i do it if i don't talk about it providing extra information Information. One thing I've realized about Ghanaians, or maybe not all Ghanaians, when we are asked one question that demands a yes or a no, we end up telling the whole story. Sometimes we talk too much. Look, they've asked you one question. Why do you want to stay or why do you want to travel to the USA? Well, I want to travel to the USA because I want to work and get more money. I know there's so much money in America. I have my siblings there and then I can provide for them or have my wife back home so I can provide for them and blah 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 I day nobody wants to know all of that keep it short and brief why do you want to study in the USA or why do you want to go to the USA I want to go to the USA because I want to study in the USA yeah, I've gotten my degree in this blah 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 back home the course I want to offer or the master's program I want to offer is only offered maybe in the United States period keep it short and yeah for now I have my father in Ghana and I have my mother here so I want to go and study and become a big person so I can make money cut it short sometimes we talk too much now the officer is bored she doesn't want to know anything you're talking about denied because you know you can stay in your country make money and take care of your family right so all that additional information now come on extra information but they don't need it if it's a yes or a no yes 
no period don't go and add a whole paragraph to it they don't care you're wasting time and it's a big mistake too because you might even end up saying things you don't have to say and then your visa will be bounced people have been through it don't do it hey this is something i witnessed so let me talk about it arguing with a consulate officer with your interview officer why are you arguing with your officer okay you went there they've asked you for this this and that and you feel like this officer is very intimidating trust me they can be very intimidating i'm moving to me he sometimes sometimes they do it on purpose just to trigger you they just want to know who you really are keep it calm keep it cool why are you going to fight with the officer the officer said well i think it's this and that you're like no it's supposed to be this this and that it's different if you know for sure this is what you're saying and you're confident rather than just arguing going back and forth when i was going to get my visa there was this student he got all his admission letters everything and i think he missed something i don't know what because i wasn't at the interview and then his visa was bounced he was refused he argued with the officer it was so freaking bad the thing is once you're bounced you can always apply for the u.s visa again so it's not like that's the end and when you are more quiet you really can put it on file and that means that any officer that sees it will end up not even giving it to you, even if you know you deserve it whatever the situation is keep it calm keep it cool just listen to whatever they have to say once you're in the usa you might not even end up meeting this officer so let an hour break you know i'm talking too much but please it's a big mistake let me talk about this having poor communication skills communication is everything once you're there and you know how to communicate you know how to answer the questions properly they respect you they know who you are they know you have arrived who is this person if they ask for a and you answer it correctly firmly boldly no um no likes they know some of that whole communication will ruin you whatever they are talking to you about make sure you're paying attention so that you can answer it correctly I know not everybody is good in English, but if you're my friend, I'm Ghanaian, we speak English, but sometimes there's a language barrier. So make sure if you do not understand English, find an interpreter, let them know. Even if you do not find an interpreter, they'll find one for you. Some people go with their uncles, their fathers, because uh, there's a language barrier. They speak maybe Hausa, Elwood, the one type of rice. Okay, English is not a first language. Find an interpreter, go with the interpreter, they will understand. And make sure they know you're coming with an interpreter. Hey, but I'm that it's painful. I haven't experienced that but i've heard people talk about that so do not make that mistake appearing to be nervous if you go to this interview and you are nervous they know you are shaking oh what's so what's so that all comes back to confidence confidence I'm gonna start on my YouTube. I wasn't this confident on camera, especially. But you know what I did? I practiced how to talk on camera. It's okay to be nervous. We are human. I mean, this can rock your nerves. We understand that. But before you go for the interview, get somebody to do the interview process with you. Find common questions that are asked at the interview, and then get somebody to ask you these questions and answer. Don't be shy. Or find a mirror. Ask the question look in the mirror and then answer if you make mistake it's okay it's better to make a mistake before you go to the interview when you're more casa or if you're speaking to the interview officer and you keep looking up you keep looking down you are nervous your hands are shaking if they ask for this document you're shaking so much you give them a wrong one they feel that you're nervous go there be confident because you are prepared go there be confident because sometimes it's even going to be just a friendly conversation because some of them just want to know more about the culture Ghana about something so just have it in your back of your head that i'm going to have a conversation with my friend but be formal unless the interview officer is not really formal but still keep it formal a bit be respectful personally if i have an interview for the first one minute i'm kind of nervous and then it just goes away because i've built my confidence to that level i built my confidence to the level of talking to the camera believe it or not youtube is one main way of me building my confidence find a means find a source to help you build that confidence be bold don't go there and be timid i feel it bro don't do it that is one big mistake that people make you got this the very last thing i want to talk about is not carrying the correct application fee most of the time if they ask for a certain fee they do not accept cash they have a form of payment so do all the research to know how you can make payment sometimes they'll ask for bank statement make sure you know how much is supposed to be on the bank statement if you're gonna check i may not even remember how much i had on my bank statement also for bank statement you don't need just one person's bank statement some people do like two three four bank statements to actually get that amount they are requesting make sure before you go there you 
know how much you're paying, what fee you're paying, and also how much you have to have on the bank statement that is going to save you so much. I think these are what I don't even know how many points I just talked about. So these are some of the mistakes people do that have their visa rejected. I always talk about the things you should do. These are the things you should not do. If you want a visa accepted, make sure you actually not do these things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Whatever type of videos you guys want to see, make sure you leave it in the comment section. We are back and we are better. Anyway, I also just celebrated my birthday. Make sure you wish me happy birthday. And I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.